Hello, this is Shane Armand Rowe with Review Lagoon and Green Robot Gamer. I'm going to show you how to take your standard remote control, connect it up to your Asus Transformer tablet or any other Android uh, 3.0 or 4.0 tablet. Then we're going to take and assign the buttons and the D-pad on the controller to virtual touchscreen controls for those games that don't allow for keyboard, Xperia, or other types of hardware control. So it's a fairly long process, but we're going to make this as easy as possible. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have USB Joystick Center and USB Joy to Touch installed. You will need root access. If you do not have root access, you might as well just stop now. We're going to go ahead and run USB Joy. You're going to turn on Bluetooth. Accept the permissions. Press 1 and 2 on your Wii controller. And in a few moments, it will... Oops, hit search if you have to. In a few moments, as you can see on the screen, we have Wii Bluetooth Remote. So we are connected now. Next up, we have to turn on the IME. So we hit IME. We choose USB Joy IME. That then kind of routes the software to working as the keyboard. Next thing we have to do is to use um, this Joy to Touch option. We're going to turn that on. It's going to go ahead and run it as... Uh, uh, root access, so you may have to approve it. I've already done it. Click on Wiimote. Now, what I've done is there's two keys here that you have to assign to two of the buttons on your controller, at least for the time being. That's the Touch Edit and the Touch Save. So, Touch Edit, I'm going to touch that. I'm going to hit the button on the back of the Wiimote, the B button, and I'm going to assign this Save to the A button here. Okay, so now you'll notice if I hit B or A, it selects those keys. Good, so now we're all set there. Now what we're ready to do is go into a game that requires us to map the controls. So we're going to hit back. And for this game, we're going to choose... I have it in here somewhere. We're going to use Death Rally. Death Rally would be a great game if only you could use a real controller, not those horrible touch controls. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in and assign it to these controls. All right. So we're going to jump into a race. Now you'll notice what we have here is a four-direction steering and a shooting button. We want to assign that to the D-pad in one of these buttons. So what we do is we press the B button on the remote, the one we assign the touch to edit. And look what happens. It comes up and it shows an overlay. This is one I've already been working on. Right, so I'm going to take this off. In order to remove a button, press the direction that it was previously assigned to, and then tap the control and it'll disappear. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these. Oops. Just so we can start from scratch. There. So now we're going to pretend that we've never had this assigned at all. So what you'll do is, You'll hold the direction, like say up on the Wii controller, and you're going to put it right on the edge. Essentially, that's see now that's not quite that's quite too far. So we're going to go ahead and remove it, add it again. How's that look? Nope, not quite. All right, so now we're going to add it one more time. That's probably about right. Then we're going to add the other directions, about there and down and right. Oops! Accidentally hit myself out of the mode there. There we go. Now I can test this by just jumping out of the editor and seeing if... Oops! I lost the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Let's go back to the race again. Alright. So now we can actually test the controls now. Look at that. I'm actually able to drive this car around. It's perfect. Now let's get the, sh the trigger button worked out. So I'm going to go back into edit mode by pressing the B. I'm going to hold down the 2 button, tap the shoot button, and as you can see now there's a control overlay. I'm going to turn it off, and look at that. Now I can shoot and drive. Now we have ourselves a game. There you have it. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, I know it's not a perfect demo, but at least it's something to get you started. Um, the real key is um, you need to assign uh, 
the touch edit and touch save to two buttons on whatever controller you're using and this can work on any controller not just um, the Wii uh, remote and then um, touch the air to hold down the, the button or direction you want to assign touch the screen it'll slap a button down there uh, and you can do this with just about anything right um, so any game that requires a, a touch screen control you can pretty much do that for this is Shane R. Monroe with uh, Review Lagoon and Green Robot Gamer we'll see you next time